Hey guys, welcome back. Today's doodle celebrates Edmund Rostand, a new romantic French poet and a playwright. His most famous work was Cyrano de Bergerac, a play about a shallow root swordsman with an oversized nose. The play's sentimental hero, plagued by a love triangle, went on to symbolize the spirit of the French. On this day in 1901, Roseland was elected to the French Academy, which is I Académie Française. Born in 1868 in a southern port city called Marseille, Rostand grew up in a wealthy and cultured family. His father, a poet and an economist, was a member of scholarly societies such as Academy de Marseille and Institut de France. As a young adult, Rostand attended college Stanislas in Paris, where he studied literature, history and philosophy. By the time he was 20 years old, he had completed his first play, a one-act comedy called Le Gant Russe. The play was performed at Cluny Theatre in 1888. Although Rostand's first play received little fanfare, it didn't discourage him from continuing to write. A few years later, Rostand created his first successful play, La Romanesque, which was a parody of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The satirical play follows two families who fake a food to encourage their children to fall in love. When it premiered in 1894, it put Rostand on the map. La Romanesque became so popular even outside of France that it was later adapted into the Fantastics, the world's longest running musical. Three years after Le Romanes, Rostand produced the most famous work, Crino de Bergerac, in 1897. On this day, Crino de Bergerac remains one of the most popular plays in France, and people all over the world still seek modern versions of this tale. Today's artwork celebrates Rostand's literary brilliance more than a century later. This enduring tales continue to be performed and resonate with hopeless romantics all over the world. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel Zenith Institute on YouTube and follow us on Facebook.